All right, well, our next headline, our next headline is super fun. And this is our put us on the spot headline from NM. And as I said before, it has to do with Kroger. So late last week, Kroger announced that it will roll out. Emma, you're going to love this name. The Krogo shopping yep. cart in one of its Ohio stores just outside of Cincinnati. According to payments.com, the carts are built by Keeper. And they come with a built-in video screen that is like a small version of the scanners Kroger has at its checkout lanes. And then customers can swipe the rewards cards, scan and weigh items as they put them into the cart. And of course, it keeps a running total the whole time. And when they're done, customers can just walk out of the store. Now, and Emma, here is the question. With Kroger getting into this smart cart game, we now have several cashierless options developing in the marketplace. Of course, we've got Amazon Go, Amazon has its own Dash smart cart. And as we've talked about in the last few weeks, Amazon has licensed its Just Walk Out technology to companies like Hudson News and Cibo Express. And of course, Grabango has also launched their first checkout free store in Pennsylvania with Giant Eagle. Okay, now we've got Kroger and Caper in the mix. So with all of that, is there room for all of these touchless checkout technologies in the market over time? Or does this reek of the HD DVD Blu-ray format wars <laughs> where one format ultimately wins out? And it sounds like you want to go first on this one. You're already chuckling. Oh, I just love I that. Such I really, a good question. I know. I'm really loving these questions, Anna. Good job. Yeah, this um, is awesome. So I'm going to say... Well, I do I think this card is cool? Yes. I mean, it's fun. It's a cool piece of technology. We've seen it at trade shows for years, I think. It's been definitely. But for me, I don't know that I'm all in on the cart. I'm going to be watching Amazon closely because I think if anybody's going to do it well or learn from it quickly and can put the resources and funds toward doing so, it will be Amazon. So that's where I'm going to be watching this very closely. Um, but I'm actually more in favor of the other Kroger efforts they're doing their scan bag go concept where, right. or it's Sam's club, you know, where, where the device you're using a customer's device and you're really keeping like this, the elements simple, you know, you don't have to have a cart that's got to work and then a checkout process that's got to work and a, you know, a scale and all these things. And you're dealing with temperatures and all kinds of stuff. I think that to keep it simple, the scan pay go for me seems like where I would focus most of my efforts and the, the effort that I think is most scalable to most places. Yeah. You bring up good points. Emma, I'm curious what you think too. Like there's a little bit of this, like and if you watch, there's a video in the article to, you know, online now, and I circulated on LinkedIn this morning that shows you how, how big this thing is, how it works. It's like, you, you do start to wonder too about like the trip type at a traditional Kroger store. And does this cart work for that? Or does it cause more friction given how big it is, you know? And so are there better options for like the quick trip that you just want to go in, get a few things a la scan bag, go that kind of thing. Emma, how are you thinking about that? I will say the Krogo cart might be the only shopping cart I would ever use because I never <laughs> use shopping, shopping carts. Yes, they're so clunky and I never buy that much stuff. Like it's just me. And so, but I think my prediction is that I think ultimately Amazon's going to win out with their just walk out technology. And it's over time just going to kind of get implemented in all these different places. Like we're seeing it in the airport convenience stores and whatnot. So that's where I'm thinking. Yeah, I mean, I think it's just, I think you're right. I mean, it's just, better it's more pervasive like no one has to change their habits like if they can make go grocery 40,000 square feet to you know capture 90 95 percent of what you do in a traditional grocery store yeah that just seems like the better answer of course you got the scalability issues in terms of processing power and hardware cost and figuring all that out retrofitting stores yeah yeah but you know at some point you'll figure that out but yeah I don't know I this card thing is tough for me. Like they're, they're growing, believe it or not, even though I've been really down on cards, you guys are going to laugh at me when I say this, but they're, that's, I'm kind of like, yeah, with Peloton on this. And I like to change my mind too, but cards are growing on me, but I want to qualify that they're growing on me, not for shopping. They're actually growing. And Emma, you'll probably, and Anne, you too, you'll understand this, but I think they're growing on me more for operational use cases. So what people are doing in the store and identify like the workers and identifying the items. Like I think of that one use case at a target store at the end of the night, there was a huge cart of abandoned product that people just left strewn everywhere. That was the biggest pain in the ass to get back on the shelves, right? You had to scan each one and then find where it goes. 
But if all that was in the cart and already identified by a computer, that eliminates and speeds up, not doesn't eliminate, but it speeds up that task so, so immensely. Yeah, that's a great oh, point, Chris. Yeah, I, I think, and there's, I think a ton of use cases like that, but I think the part where that I have trouble with buying into the cart for shopping is this. It's two points really. One, it's inventory accuracy, right? If it's in the, that's the big crux of omni-channel retailing. And if you're going to invest in computer vision AI, you're not getting that from a cart because the cart is only what's in the cart. It's not what's happening around you, right? So that's why I still think like either uh, cameras on the shelves in the ceiling are going to provide you more value relative to the cost over the long run. I think it, so it just makes sense. And then the second piece is I just still hate the cart thing. Like watch that video. And at the very end, did you guys see this? They, there's a sign and you're pushing the cart and it says, please put the cart gently back in right. place. Yes. Why I are they that. saying that? Cause they're worried like hell that these things are going to break. And by the way, every teenager that reads that is going to slam the crap out of that cart, right? And it's not even in, you know, and then you got winter and the heat in Arizona and stuff like that. Like, I just don't see this working. And I mean, you guys remember, like, how many broken wheels have you had on carts? Um, you know, like, you know, or the rascals that you have to, like, recharge as a, if you're working stores and they never god darn work. Like, that's that's what you're going to have here. And I, there's just better ways. So for me, I, I'm, I'm more with you and I still, and, and Emma, I mean, I think it's, there's still better ways. Like, and I'd be using scan and go still as my interim stuff. Uh, and any last thoughts on that? I got, I'm on rants of all time today. You are today. Yeah, um, I, we haven't even gotten to Lori yet, man. I got to oh keep God. this crescendo. I don't know. I might spontaneously combust. Hold on to your horses, everybody. No, the only thing I, that I, I think that I would emphasize or my biggest question was how much are you able to learn? You look at the retrofitted stores that just walk out technology, like they're as new products come in yeah. to play, like how much are you sharing that information? Are they cloud-based? Like are, are they able to continuously update that product set so that you can have the accuracy that you definitely are going to need if you're letting people just walk out of there, so. Yeah, more to come on this. I think, I, and I think it, has, it is a cool way for companies to sound tech, but I don't know that you really are if this is what you're doing. And I even think Amazon might know that, that but they just did it to sound cool. This might be one thing they did to sound cool. And Amazon they are doesn't definitely usually do cool. that. They yeah. are definitely cool. But I mean, the one thing they did where it's like, we really just did this to sound cool versus like, we're kind of testing it, but they are kind of testing it at the same time. But we'll see, you know, time will tell. And there's still a lot to go before, you know, we get to scalability like this. And